Chris. It's that time for bi-weekly chit-chat with my good friend, Dr. Jamie Ronchero. And I want to say, first of all, you took care of our, our buddy, 14-year-old, who, yes. uh, you know, you get, you get nervous about that because at that age, I've had other, other animals that age who were having trouble walking, and then you think, oh, my gosh. Yeah. But yet, and he was eating fine and everything else, and I don't even think he realized that whatever, he's had a pinched nerve or whatever in his back, he was just kind of doing a little bit of a swagger oh, and spinning around. But clock. Yeah. <laughs> now he's just a little bit more like John Wayne, but he's getting better, so thank you. Good. You're welcome. But uh, I want to talk about this. I don't, I don't know. I try to make – I don't make so much resolutions, but goals for the next year that I'd like to hit, which I guess are resolutions. But resolutions have such a, a – a, they come with such baggage, right. you know. <laughs> But, uh, you know, when you think about our own fitness and what we're going to do, and, and I know I've had that situation, too, where with, uh, with pets, it's more like we take them to the vet when something's wrong and forget about the preventive maintenance. And, of course, in some cases, had we gone for the regular checkups, we could have uh, probably found whatever the issues were a lot earlier. And, it, you know, on, on the one hand, it's, it's of course, uh, would have been less trouble for our beloved pets, right. but it might have also been uh, less of a, of a bill in fixing the problem. And so I want to talk a little bit about uh, uh, resolutions or goals for 2017 and taking care of our pets. What should we consider? Because we were talking about this off the air, you know, and I think probably the biggest thing for me is, is like teeth cleaning yes. and, and setting a regular schedule. Why is teeth cleaning so important for our pets, aside from the fact that they have stinky breath? Well, um, I mean, it's just as important for them as it is for us. So, you know, we brush our teeth every day, twice a day, and we floss and we take good care of our mouths and we still go to the dentist twice a year, sometimes more than that, um, to get a professional cleaning done, you know, and to get x-rays and all of that to make sure that our mouth is healthy. So it's even um, as, if not more important for them to come in and um, get a full evaluation to see what's going on with their teeth. You know, we don't necessarily brush their teeth every day. Um, It would be ideal, but I know that that doesn't happen. And so... They're not always too keen on it. Right. (laughs) That can definitely vary. And, you know, so their calculus and tartar is going to build up a lot faster. So even if they had a dental cleaning done six months ago, it may be time to have it done again. Um, There are certain breeds, especially smaller breeds, that are definitely more predisposed to periodontal disease, um, heavier gingivitis, and and just problems in general than some other breeds and so um, coming in for that exam so we can see where, you know, the teeth are at, what stage of disease is there, um, and potentially getting a, a dental cleaning is important. And the same thing with, like, a checkup or a physical with your dog. Absolutely. You know, we always recommend at least yearly exams. Um, if you have older pets, um, they may recommend um, to come in every six months. Um, that's the way that we can monitor and make sure that we're catching any changes early. Um, staying on top of things and being preventative rather than reactive is, is always better and easier. <laughs> exactly. Yes. So just budgeting for that because, again, it, it's, it's always that unfortunate surprise when we didn't, and especially when we could have done something about it early on, just like, just like with humans, why didn't I go to the doctor and have that right. checked out? So really important, especially if your pets, with, if you love your pets, make sure that you are taking care of them the way that you would take care of yourself or your children, right? right. And this way, you know, if you come in and we're more planning ahead rather than more of an urgent situation where now there's a problem, there's a tooth root abscess, there's, um, you know, some kind of issue, um, then we can, like you said, you can budget for it, you can plan ahead for it, and it's it's not such a burden. And of course, if your pet is a little overweight, like like uh, maybe maybe some of us are, <laughs> it might not be a bad idea to to get the fet, the pet on some sort of fitness plan. Dogs or cats. Cats, you, you don't always necessarily. Some people Absolutely. can walk their cats, but even if it's an indoor situation, there are exercise routines that you can get into to try and get your cat at least active, correct? Yeah. I mean, some people think that it's harder with cats, but um, just with, with any pet in general, learning other ways to bond with your pet than just giving treats is always good. So, you know, just spending time with them, grooming them, playing with them, um, they will enjoy that type of affection just as much as getting treats exactly and of course uh dogs take them out for walks 
Because uh, yes. that, that is, I mean, and we always think, well, I've got a big backyard where they can play, but I've had big backyards and mostly what it's done is, is just given them uh, more places to lay down, to lay down. <laughs> uh, in the sun or <laughs> exactly. the shade. So yeah. it's, a, you know, with that walking, it's actually not only a bonding time, but also a, a, a routine exercise, exercise just like we have. I mean, I've mm-hmm. just because I have a big backyard doesn't mean I go out and play. You know what right. I mean? So exactly. those are the types of things really important. So, of course, uh, regular checkups uh, in in, in um, planning for your 2017 resolutions to a healthier pet, uh, and, and they have the uh, chance of living longer as well. So those types of things, regular checkups, regular exercise, make sure Rover or, or uh, Kitty Cat Fluffy is not um, too fluffy. Or yes. fat. Very important. <laughs> and that's, again, uh, feel, being able to kind of feel the ribs. Exactly. There's um, things called body condition scoring that we go by. Um, and so typically for any pet, you should be able to feel the ribs somewhat easily, but without them, like, sticking out. Um, you should be able to see a little bit of a waist when you look at them from the top down. Um, typically, that's sort of a, a ideal body score. So keep that in mind. And... <laughs> And make sure that you are, are uh, reserving your checkup for your pet, your dog or cat. Cinema Veterinary Center located on Cinema Drive in beautiful downtown Valencia. Cinemavet.com. And the phone number is? 661-253-9300. Uh, have a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and a great holiday season. And uh, we'll you see too. you next year. Sounds good. 746, traffic coming up next. 46, traffic.